Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I installed a porcelain patio in my garden. Now, this is the seventh part of my garden renovation series. And if you'd like to go back and watch the previous parts, all the links will be in the description below, showing you how I put the sleep wall together, how I've dug the trench, how I've been left in the tiers and so on. So if you're interested in that, feel free to subscribe. A bit of a disclaimer before we start, this is the first time that I've ever installed a patio. So if you're thinking of doing any of this yourself, hopefully you can pick up from some of the mistakes and some of the things that I did throughout my patio installation process. Right, so quick update as to where we are now. Right, we've laid the first six slabs going along. So we've got a four coming up this way. Everything else is perfectly level along. We've got these little plastic spaces just to hold those spaces. We took this one out because there's a bit of um, the mortar in the middle. I thought we can always chisel that out and we're going to be filling it now anyway, so not a massive issue. You can see we've got everything uh, as perfect as we can possibly make it. So uh, a few challenges, we put the, the first two slabs down and um, they were just too low. And then when it came to doing the next one where there was a slight bump in, in the hardcore, uh, it, it was awkward. It was the, the, it'd only been maybe half a centimetre worth of, of the actual mortar. So we had to take up the first two slabs. Luckily, they hadn't set. They'd only been down for maybe half an hour. And then we added more mortar on top. And then it's been perfect for the rest. So hopefully you now, as we crack on, we're going to finish the rest. But it's been about four and a half hours and we've done six slabs. So we're going to do a little bit more whilst the weather's not too bad. And yeah, see where we get to. Right, so the mix we're using for the mortar is five parts sand to one part cement. So what we've done is we've gone with heaped shovelfuls of each. Uh, we've been using the blue circle cement, so we've been scooping it out of the bag, and then we've had a big bulk bag of sand delivered. Now, uh, I do mix it initially with the spade, and then after that, I just get my hands in there. Probably not the best way to do it, but it seems to mix it up a little bit easier, and it seems better on the back, and you get a more of a, a finer mix as well from doing it. Then add the water, I'll show you all of them. Now this is where I made my biggest mistake of all. You'll have heard me say then that I use my hands to mix up the sand and the cement. You can see me doing it now. And the biggest problem with this is that when I went in that night, I had all these small cuts on my hands and there was loads of sand embedded into them. It took ages and ages trying to get it out with a face cloth and just trying to soak it in warm water. And lots of it didn't come out for a couple of days. So the next day I did continue to do the same thing, but I put gloves on. So if you are gonna do this, you can just do it with the shovel or a spade. It does take long, and if you want to get your hands in there, just get gloves on. Otherwise, you'll have the same problem as me, and you'll just rip your hands to bits. Now, as these are porcelain tiles, you do have to add a slurry mix to the back, which is a kind of adhesive that helps the tile adhere to the mortar itself. Otherwise, you may end up with tiles coming loose off the grout. So this is the Maple Stone and Porcelain Adhesive, which you can pick up from Tool Station for around about £19, and it seems to do the job perfectly. There we are, we are complete. 
So it's been about four days now since we made the patio. I've taken out all the spaces, I've left them all on the side, uh, and all the gaps are looking absolutely perfect. I've been around, most of it's, well, it seems all of it's fully set now. You can walk on it, it's completely fine. So the next thing we've got to do is we've got to fill these gaps with just some of the grout. And hopefully in the next video, I'll be putting the grout in and finishing the patio off itself. So if you have enjoyed this video and you do want to follow along with the rest of the renovation, feel free to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video as well, feel free to give it a like and thanks for watching.